In his house in Real Yay, Dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. You ever played D&D before? No. What kind of character do you play? I play a cultist. But you are a cultist. I'm growing gills. Gills. My transformation into a deep one has finally begun. Father Day can be praised. Rob, we don't see any gills. Uh, the coffee drinking cultists who meet under the pavilion. I can bring them to you. If you not bring them to me within three days, then you're back oh. on the menu. Got it? I'm Steve King, and I worship Nyarlathotep. It's the cultists of the Yellow King. We're being info. It's like Twilight, but with a fish. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the second unplugged or no excuse me no this is not unplugged we're ordinarily unplugged this is the second plugged in where we are playing video games now i have been trying for the past 10 minutes to try to get my window here first of all it's been a little while since we've done the first plugged in so my technical capacity may be i may have to revise that and you're gonna have to let me know uh if you're hearing what you're supposed to be hearing and things like that because i was just sitting here for about 15 minutes trying to get OBS to recognize uh, the Baldur's Gate window. Like, cause I, you know, I really, I'm trying to figure out how to use OBS in order to do some more sophisticated things, what we're doing here. And uh, I thought that would be easy. And apparently OBS will just not recognize the Baldur's Gate um, video window. So I'm going to do this through uh, StreamYard directly here. So that's what I thought we would play. I've got a whole bunch of different games that I, I played out. I listed out cause I was like, gee, Maybe we should do some more video gaming because there are some things that I want to play, some video games I want to play. Uh, and actually, there's some things from the original NES that I want to play, but I want to do that with the controller. And I ordered before Christmas NES controllers that can plug into the USB port of the computer. And I thought, oh, that's going to be really cool. But they're not here yet. And I, I'm just loath to play NES games without that controller. So I was looking for some kind of game that I could play that was just a computer game, but there were a bunch of them that I was trying to get to that I couldn't get uh, to play, either because I needed some kind of emulator download. I was trying to do this, you know, in about 30 minutes or something, or it wasn't available for Mac or something like that. So I don't know. I finally got Baldur's Gate to play, but then I didn't quite get it hooked up to OBS, so we'll just see here. Hey, White Rabbit. White Rabbit says, hey, good evening. I'm just making dinner. Your timing is perfect. Wonderful. Sounds excellent. Bubba says, good evening, all. Good evening, Bubba. And also, Stray is here. Good evening, everyone. So, all right. So, here's what I've got. Let me see if I can bring this up here. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing some of the uh, NES games. Hey, Mike. Welcome, Mike. Good to see you. So, if I put this up here, like, this is how we're going to have to do it right here. But you can't, uh, uh, let's see here. We were talking about how to hear it. Okay. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So can you hear the Baldur's Gate game right there? At least a little bit. And then maybe also hear me. I'm going to have to work with OBS some more. Oh, see, when I click there, that should turn off the, the music. But here, we've got... Anybody played Baldur's Gate? This original Baldur's Gate? I don't, I, I don't know if this is actually the original or not. This said Enhanced Edition, and it was the only thing I could get to play in the last 45 minutes, I guess, since I've been trying to play different things. Uh, oh, hey, Michael. Michael says, good to see you, too. Welcome, Michael. Good to see you. So, new players should start with the tutorial. Fight for your life training to escape from the Black Pits. Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. <laughs> you, you hear it? Is that, that, that seems to be working well when I'm over there on the other side. Uh, it looks like when I come over here, it'll turn off the music in order to, to look at things that are in the chat. That's, I, I, I need to be able to fix that. There, there must be some way to fix that, but I just couldn't in the... 15 minutes, get uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, the OBS to recognize the Baldur's Gate window. Maybe it's thinking about that. All right, so I'm supposed to start with the tutorial. Let's get started. 
Press the gender button to begin creating your character, or plus back to return to the previous page. If you wish to import a pre-made character, I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so gender. All right, I'll be a guy. Uh, that kind of looks cool. Uh, if I were playing, should I play a wizard or a warrior? What do I feel like? If I were playing a wizard kind of character, I'd kind of go with that one. If I were a thief, I'd go with that one. That's a pretty good elf. Mm, I do like that wizard, too. What do I feel like playing? I've been playing a kind of beat em up kind of character in Diablo, so maybe I should try like a wizard type character. I think I will. Could be him. Uh, let's go with him. Let's go with him. Race? Let's go half elf. Class? Sorcerer, shaman, fighter, cleric. Can I not just pick wizard? I guess that's mage. Okay, mage. Um, conjurer, diviner, enchanter, trans transmuter, or wild mage. Let's go. Well, hmm. I would go Invoker. I kind of want to go Invoker. Let's see. But that's not an option. Wild Mage. Oh, let's just go Mage. Alignment. Uh, neutral good. Abilities. Oh, uh, am I to okay? Total roll. So I could. Oh, man, I've got a fantastic uh, charisma. I'm going to back that down and go up with intelligence. So I've got an 18 intelligence. Strength is low. Dexterity, constitution. Uh, I'm going to go up in dexterity a bit. All right, done. Skills. Dagger, you have been given proficiencies to start your character with. These represent the ability to effectively use weapons. You may choose from any of the selectable proficiencies. Can you both hear me and the game? You're going to have to let me know. You should be able to hear both me and the game. This is just through StreamYard. I'll try to get OBS working later. So we're just. this is our, our second time. If you're here new... Please do hit the like button, but if you're here new, please do hit the like button. This is our second time trying to do a plugged-in video gaming stream. So you have been given proficiencies to start the character with. These represent the ability to effectively use weapons. You may choose from any of the selectable proficiencies available to your character class. If your character is a fighter, he will be able to choose between the same proficiency up to five times. Okay. Uh, dagger, quarterstaff, dart, sling. I mean, uh, feels like, oh, I only get one? Oh, hmm. Dagger, quarterstaff, dart, or sling? I'm going to have to go quarterstaff. You may choose up to two spells to put in your spell book. These will be the spells that your character currently has knowledge of at the beginning of the game. Specialist mage characters that belong to their school have a green outline on them. Hey, hey, Jay. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Glad to have you here. Uh, I get two to put in my spell book. So I've got, it looks like I've already got magic missile and shield. 
That sounds pretty good. I feel like I need armor. So this will give me scale male armor. I don't like the term scale male. Just scale armor, scale armor, AC6. Uh, oh, do I not? Oh, it's recommending that I get magic missile and shield. Because I've got spells remaining zero. Well, all right, let's go magic missile and shield. You may memorize one spell from the above list. <laughs> oh, this, this is rough, right? This is rough. This is uh, what? Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, I get one spell. I'd better go with the, uh, the offensive spell, I guess. So I'm going to learn magic missile. Appearance. Well, all this is probably fine. Right, let's go. Let's go. Red clothing, okay. Um, and then yellow. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. That sounds good. Name? Oh, what should my name be? Aranath. All right. Uh, well, uh, normal sounds good. Let's do. Let's do normal. Greetings. Greetings to you, and welcome to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Jay says, sorry, I haven't been able to catch the streams as of late. Been very busy. No, completely understandable. It has been Christmas, right? This has been the holidays. Like, I haven't been streaming quite as uh, often as I would like to because I've also been uh, out for holidays and things like that. Because, hey, Christmas. Yep. Uh, Flynn says, oh, Baldur's Gate 1. Yeah, I mean, hey, blast from the past here, right? So let's, uh, Hector the Wise. So let's, let's figure out what's going on. Hector the Wise, so that was the name recommendation. Let's just see what happens here. Belt, I understand that you are eager to get started. A man of your profession would not be comfortable cooped up in a castle such as this. But before you leave, it is my duty to make sure that you are prepared for what awaits you in the world of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition uses second edition AD&D rules. Oh, you know, what a great set of rules. I feel like... Uh... There, I got my second edition PHB right here, just in case we need to reference it. Got the PHB right here. You know, I remember uh, when we got this game that that basically its rules manual was the Dungeons & Dragons uh, PHB. Oh, I, I told my brother that, yep. Uh, to tell my nephews that I'm playing. All right. This is the use the second edition AD and D rules. These rules might seem overwhelming at first. No, man, I'm a whole old hat at this. But I will familiarize you with the basic rules and interface of the game. Now, the interface probably I need to have. We'll begin with the pause feature. Pause the game anytime with the space bar, or by left cl uh, clicking the clock at the lower end of the screen. Okay. Unpause in the same way. Pausing is most useful during combat when it gives you the time to carefully orchestrate your party's next attack. While paused, issue your commands. When you unpause, your characters will carry out the orders you have been given. You do not use the space bar. You may find the game very difficult to play. Why don't you experiment with pausing right now by using the space bar and giving your character some movement commands? When you have finished, left-click on me to resume the conversation. Okay. So I should be paused. Nope. Now I'm paused. Okay. Is on how to differentiate enemies from people you want to talk to. Enemies have red circles. People you want to talk to have blue circles. Certain option settings can remove these circles during unpaused gameplay so their presence does not distract from the mood of the game. The circles are always present when the game is paused, however. Okay. 
Interaction with NPCs defaults to talk for neutral targets and attack for hostile ones. Talk to neutral characters identified by blue circles by left-clicking on them. To attack hostile NPCs, simply left-click on them. If you want to attack a neutral NPC, select a weapon icon from the bottom of your screen and left-click on the target. Let's test this out now. Left-click on my servant and you'll start a conversation. Servant Josepho, come here at once. I shall attend to it. It wasn't that easy. What I'm going to do now is turn hostile. Left click to attack me? Okay. Well done. That was a good hit. Belt will talk with you now. Okay. I now want to talk to you about the inventory page. Stray says AD and D won't care about your feelings. Remember, spacebar pauses combat so you can take a second. All right, yeah, that's what we were just learning here. Inventory page by right-clicking on your character portrait or by pressing the backpack icon on the side of the screen. Uh, right-clicking on your character portrait or by pressing the backpack icon. All right, so this is what I got here. AC 10, no good. I've only got four hit points. Boy, this is classic AD&D wizard. I got four hit points. Base Thaco, 20. That's to be expected. Fist, I'm doing D2 damage. I, hey, I got my quarter staff, but I guess I don't have one. I'm proficient in quarter staffs, but I guess I'm going to have to find one. Let's see here. Well, I did this. Gents, I shall attend to it in a trumpet. Equip items by placing them in the appropriate slots around your character on the inventory page. Once equipped, select the weapon by left clicking on the quick weapon slot at the bottom of your main gameplay screen. A green box will appear around the weapon that is in your character's hands. An orange box indicates combat mode. Just uh, Jay says, just imagine if someone in real life said, now I'm going to turn hostile. <laughs> well, it's not impossible, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, now I'm going to turn hostile. You know, th that happens at fighter practice, right? That happens at fighter practice. Ryan says, hello. Hey, Ryan. Great. Glad to have you here. Uh, I'll watch the video of this later. No problem. See you around. Have a good evening. Once a quick, so, uh, equips like the weapon by left-clicking on the quick weapon slot at the bottom of the main gameplay screen. Okay, we've got to find that. A green box will appear around the weapon that is in your character's hands. An orange box indicates combat mode. I'm going to give you a weapon now, and I want you to try to equip it. Okay? Oh, I got a quarter staff. Okay, so I got a quarter staff here. So I need to put that in his hand. All right. Good. Yes. You have but to ask. Good job. So now I've got a staff. For us to go upstairs now. If you move your cursor over to the stairs, you'll notice that your cursor becomes a stair cursor. When your cursor changes, it means you're about to perform an action other than moving. If you left click on the stairs, your character will walk over the stairs and move up. All right. Here's the stairs. To assist in recording important information, many details will automatically be entered in your journal. To access your journal, left-click the quill icon on the left side of the screen. Entries are cataloged according to the story chapter in which you encounter them. They are also divided into to quests and main story entries. Main story entries will remain in your character journal for entry forever, and they are a reminder of all the major events in your character's life so far. Quest entries are entered into your journal when a quest entry begins and removed when the quest ends. The quest, the entry then appears in the done quest section. When you check your journal right now, you'll notice the entry has been placed to remind you to finish combat training. When combat training is done, it will disappear. So, reminder to finish combat training. This is the journal? Nope. 
quick save world map now your first combat lesson. oh time for combat this is going to be coming right up the stairs i want you to hit it and then check your journal okay good job i want you to check your journal and see how it has been updated Wait, where's my journal button? A reminder from Belt. Journal. Chapter one. Now I want you to check your mastery. Well, okay. <laughs> I think we found it. To access it, left clip the map icon. Second from the top. Okay, we're looking at, at map. Okay. This will show you a view of the area you're currently in. On the map screen, you'll notice a world map icon at the top left. Left-clicking this will take you to the world map, which displays the game area you currently know. You may also annotate your map screen by right-clicking it when you make, if you want to make a note. I'll give you a few seconds to check this out. Okay, so this is the map. World map. Oh, okay. Another page you might be interested in is the character sheet. Well, I thought I already had access to the character sheet. This is my inventory, right? How may I be of assistance? What is it this time? Yes. That's my uh, that's my inventory, but I guess it's also my character sheet. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. The last icon that you need to know about is the options icon. You can also find it on the left side of the screen. Left side? On the options screen, you will be able to save and load games as well as modify graphics, sound, and gameplay. Okay. Oh, I'll need companions. You'll find Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition almost impossible to complete. Well, we may have to get some people in here to uh, complete this one. I will now introduce you to Zan, an elven mage. He will join your party and then show you how to memorize and cast spells. Okay. Okay. My first lesson to you is on how to cast spells. Select my Zan's cast spell button, choose a spell, and left click on your target. My cast spell button is in the spell icon on the bottom of the screen. You need to have me, Zan, selected for you to have access to my spells. You can also configure quick spells by right clicking on a quick spell slot. This summons a list of memorized spells to choose. If no spells are listed, the character either does not have any spells memorized or cannot cast spells until higher level. To cast the quick spell, left click on the appropriate spell, quick spell slot and then select your target. If you want to try to cast a spell now, select any spell in my repertoire and cast it on belt. Okay, so I've got to select him. And then... I want to cast a spell. Cast spell. Cast Burning Hands. Well, I'm working on it. Select Cast Spell button, choose a spell, and then left click your target. That's what I thought I was doing. All right. Burn him up. All right. There's a lot here. Oh, what? Jay says, I rather like this game's art style. You know, I was thinking something similar here, too. Because, you know, I'm always... Uh, this was very advanced in its day, of course. But also, as far as what do you need to have? I mean, 
this is working for me so far. Any spellcaster besides sorcerers and shamans must memorize spells using the rest button on the left panel after choosing their spells from the mage book or pre-scroll pages. Select the mage book or pre-scroll icon that appears on the left side of the screen. Choose the spells you want to memorize, then click on the rest button. Once you rest is completed, it will have memorized the spells. Okay. So this is quick save, help, rest. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to hit that one. Nope. I got to figure out something with spells. This is... Well, I don't think I did that. Right-click on the scroll, and it will bring you to the items history screen. On the bottom of my screen, you'll find a button that says Write Magic. Press this, and your mage will now be able to cast Flame area, er, Arrow once I memorize it. There's a chance of failure when trying to learn a new spell. Failure means the scroll is used up, and the mage does not learn the spell. I will not fail with this one, but in the real world, your intelligence stats determines whether you succeed or not. Okay. Over here, priest scroll, mage book. That's yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. What is it this time? I'm clicking on him. What is it this time? What am I supposed to do? Those look like my spells. Yeah, because now here I am. Memorize. Priest. This is Zan. Well, hmm. Right click on the scroll, then on the right magic button at the bottom of the item history page. Right click on scroll, then on right magic. That looks like a scroll. Uh, hmm. How may I be of assistance? What is it this well, time? Well, I'm not sure here. How may I be of assistance? What is it this time? Our quest is vain. I remember that guy. <laughs> Our quest is vain. I remember that. Uh, what are we supposed like, I'm supposed to have a... Got to click on a scroll and have him memorize a spell? All right, right click on the scroll. Right, right click on the scroll, then on right magic button at the bottom of the item history page. Right click on a scroll. Well, right. Does anybody know what I'm supposed to be doing? This isn't exactly related to stream, but I have convinced my sister to read the... Ch oh, uh, the scroll is in inventory. Oh, oh, it's in the inventory. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this isn't exactly related to the stream, but I have convinced my sister to read The Children of Huron. This is a great accomplishment as she is a very casual LOTR fan. I have read The Children of Hur Huron a while back ago. I need to read it. And I need to read it with Brianna, and we need to comment on it. Okay, so now let me see if I can get to his inventory. I Because I, I need to read that again, and Brianna does too. Brianna has never read the uh, Lord of the Rings at all, and she needs to. Okay, so if I go to his inventory. Life is so 
flame arrow. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You copy the spell into your spell book. Okay. Thank you. I had no idea where I was supposed to go with that. You must right click on the item. Okay. On the bottom of the item's history screen, you will find a button label identify. Click left, click on this. If whoever has the item in your inventory has an identify spell memorized or has an identify scroll, the item will be identified. Bards and very intelligent characters can sometimes automatically identify an item when they pick it up. I have an unidentified shield in my inventory. I also have an identify spell memorized. I will give you a moment to try to identify the shield. Okay, so now... Yep, there is a shield there. Let's identify. Do you want to identify the shield uh, with a spell? So this is a medium shield plus one. It's carried in the same manner as a small shield. Unlike the small shield, however, it waits prevent the character from using the shield hand for anything other than carrying a medium shield. This penalty is offset by the fact the shield is magical, granting an additional plus one to its wearer. All right. Oh, my God. More to learn. All right. Cleric abilities. Greetings and good of ill. I am Brandon, and I follow the ways of Tempest, God of War. I'm going to join your party and teach you how to use cleric abilities. Okay. You cast cleric spells in the exact same way that you cast mage spells. I'll refresh your memory in case you've forgotten. Cast spell button, choose a spell, left click on target. My cast spell button is the same icon on the bottom of the screen. You need to have me selected in order to have access to my spells. Cast a spell on belt. He's slightly wounded, so I should cast a healing spell. All right. Cast a spell. Cure light wounds on him. Vita Mortis. I do remember that too. All right. Blast in the past year. You. Now I'll give you a short overview on how to memorize clerics. Any spellcaster besides sorcerers and shamans must memorize spells using the rest button on the left panel after choosing their spells on the mage book or pre scroll pages. Select the mage book or pre scroll icon. Okay, so actually, what I think I'm supposed to do, then rest, then click rest. Okay, so actually, if I've got her selected, then I'm supposed to go over here to Priest Scroll. So, uh, memorized one of five. So, Armor of Faith. Uh, let's memorize that. Let's memorize Cure Light Wounds. Let's memorize um, Bless. Um, sanctuary. Uh, what's magic stone? Yeah, let's, let's memorize magic stone. All right. And then we go over here and we hit rest, right? Wait, where's rest? There we go. I'm going to need more wine. <laughs> During the rest, I got to get more wine. All right, so then I do what we're supposed to do. All right. Paladins also have the ability to turn undead. Activating this icon will cause many undead creatures to flee or even be destroyed. When in this mode, the character can move wherever they wish. Any other action, such as attacking or casting a spell, will deactivate the ability. Now I'm going to teleport a skeleton. Try to destroy it using my turn undead ability. Oh, okay. So is this turn undead?
So did I do it? No, don't. Good job on destroying the skeleton. Now I'm going to introduce you to a surprise visitor. It's your childhood friend, Ingo. Next floor. All right. It's Tempus Wayne. Oh, I'm not sure that I had me selected. Or is this me? No, this is me. All right. Gather your party before venturing forth. Well, all right, guys, let's go up the stairs. Quest is what is the point? Oh, can't oh yeah, I can select all of them. That's right. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Emowyn. I am kind of itching to get started on this adventure. Anyway, I'm supposed to use to head to the thief skills, but only after I join your party. Okay. So anyway, I'll start with the pickpocket ability. Okay. To use this ability, you must press the thieving skills button on the bottom of the screen. This button obviously won't be there if a thief is not selected first. The thieving icon is an eye is an eye mask, which thieves are occasionally known to wear. Once you've selected the thieving button, left click on the person whose pocket you wish to pick. Okay, try to pick belts pocket okay so this is you right here right here and let's I don't have enough of this. pickpocket succeeded yes. okay now i'm going to teach you how to detect and disarm traps all right to detect a, a trap you must first press the find trap button on the bottom of the screen while it's active any trap in the area that you detect will be highlighted in red the Find Traps button is represented by an icon of four triangles. When in this mode, the character can move wherever they wish. Any other action, such as attacking or casting a spell, will deactivate the ability. To disarm a trap, you must press the Thieving button. You must then left-click on the red highlighted trap. Watch out. If you fail the disarming trap, it might be sprung. There is a harmless trap on the west side of this room. I want you to try to detect and disarm it using my skills. Remember, press the Find Trap button to begin searching for traps. Let's see. Uh, find the uh, the button is represented by an icon of four triangles. Let me see. It may take her a moment to be able to find it once she begins searching. Find traps. So do I have her selected? Emowyn, find traps. Nope, I want you detecting traps and illusions. It's taking you so long to disarm the trap. Hurry up. Remember, disarm a trap, you must press the thieving button. You must then left click on the... I don't see the red trap. Well, where's the trap? Well, no, I got that, but I got to find the trap first. Stray says, clerics have to stack spells if they want to cast it m multiple times, so memorize cure a few times in a row. Ah, uh, oh, yes, that's right. This is, that's that's a good point. This is second edition. This is AD&D, &D, which means that if you want to cast a spell more than once, you have to memorize it more than once. Thank you. That's a, that's a great point. Uh, I had forgotten about that at, at this moment. I remember that from AD&D, so we got to be careful to uh, do that. Yes. Okay, look, woman. 
I want you to. Well, where was your trap? Oh, there we go. All right, now. Good job. You should also know that when you're in detect traps mode, you'll also be able to detect secret doors and illusions. Okay, the next ability. Yeah, okay, another ability. Okay, your next ability you need to learn is the ability to open locks. To pick a lock, you must select the, sleeving but the thieving button and then left-click on whatever locked container you want to open. Once again, the thieving button is represented by an eye mask. There's a lock chest on the west side of this floor. Use the abilities to pick the lock chest and steal the gem inside. That right there. All right. Oh, oh no, here we go. I thought I did it. Good job. The next ability I'm going to teach you is one of the most important. Okay, let's be stealthy, thief. Stealth button, and I will hide in shadows. All right, I'll put you into stealth mode. What is stealth mode? Is it this? All right. Now that we've finished experimenting with stealth, let's go to the last thief ability, the set trap skill. Okay. Four cornered star set snares. You've been doing very well. Now I'm going to introduce you to two more party members, Mitz and Jahir. There's a lot to learn when playing this game. Okay, so Mince and Jahira. They'll be teaching you a few more things, and there'll be time for your last test. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I remember. Isn't this guy the guy with like a pet hamster or something? Um, Yes, Mince. I forgot Boo. Okay, then, Mince. Boo and I are going to join your party and tell you about the remaining skills. Boo has many pointers on how to adventure. He is a very wise hamster. Okay. Different classes have different uh, sk uh, skills. Druids have the ability to shape change. Rangers have the ability to charm animals. And paladins have the ability to lay on hands and cure disease. But the bard has an extra ability. But you don't have to press the special ability buttons to use it. When you have a bard special character, uh, character selected, a harp icon will appear in the middle of your screen. Press the button to activate bard song. Bards can inspire the com uh, comrades in combat by using the bard song. They are able to move while singing, but other actions will end the song. Why don't you take a moment to experiment with our abilities? Okay. Uh, so this guy right here. Party AI. Reveal details. Select all. Okay. Party formation. Right click on party formation. All right, party formation. Let's select them all. Party formation. Let's go. I remember this too. Man, this has been a long time.
Stray says, Boo is a space hamster. Spelljammer made it canon and named one of the books after him. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Boo the space hamster. Time for the test. Okay, fine. Let's just test this out. All right, going into the basement. Locating the basement is a valuable star sapphire. You must retrieve this item from the treasury. The treasury is locked and warded against thieving skills. You'll have to first find a key. To succeed, you're going to have to use all of your skills. When you go down the stairs, the game will autosave. This happens when you move from one major area to the next. You can therefore restart your game from the point that you made this last major area transition. All right, then. The basement is open. Remember, if you die while you're in the basement, you can reload your autosave slot. All right. How do I get to the basement? There could be traps down here. You should use my skills to find out if there are any. Remember that it takes a moment for the traps to become visible to me. Okay. I shall attend to it in a trap. We're all doomed. Onward. <laughs> supposed to be able to pause and then issue orders we are doing a bad job fighting that kobold critical miss how about this kobold mon needs to search for traps Oh, well, we all need to t take out this kobold. Let's give them a right fresh. Uh, onward. You have but to ask. Okay. Emma win. Okay. Well, let's go take out this kobold. Yes. Everybody on that kobold. All right, Emowyn, start finding traps. I've done had enough of this. How may I be of a sin? You have but to ask. No, Emowyn. I am gone. Uh oh. Everybody. I shall turn you into a trap. That guy. I've done had enough of this. Emma searching for traps. All right, come on, thief. Huh. Yes. All right, let's all move down here. Oh, that's the locked door. Okay. A short sword.
How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Hmm. All right, everybody, let's move this way. I feel like the the thief like should have some I am gone. Huh. Yes. I shall attend to it in a trunk. Let's see what's over here on this side. I haven't been over here yet. Oh, a table. Oh, with a spider. My sp Got it. A monster summoning scroll. A scroll of monster summoning to have me learn the spell. Well, all right, fine. Oh, it's identify. Did I pick that up? We're all doomed. How may I be of assistance? What is it this time, yes? I think I'll just learn it. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trunk. Oh, looks like a key. Who's got this? Might be me. If you want, yes, it shall be as you wish. All right. Well, I guess there we go. I guess we didn't die. So we got the sapphire. We're supposed to turn that up, return to belt. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You have but to arms. Good job. Your training is now complete. All that. <laughs> and now I can finally start the game. That's well, all right. So what are we doing here? Well, he who fights with monsters. Okay. I, I hope this is the game. I guess it is. Single player? New game? What? I thought I already did all this. Um, I'll still be the wizard. 
race, we said half elf, class, we said mage. Um, I tell you what, let's let's just go conjurer on this. Alignment, neutral, good. Abilities. Oh, we got it. Oh, man. I liked my roll last time. Let's re-roll. Okay, let's subtract some... Oh, man. Intelligence 9? What are we talking about? That's not going to work. Um, there we go. We got a strength. I like this guy. Strength 13, deck 16, constitution 16, intelligence 18, wisdom 13, charisma 12. Let's take it. Skills. I only get one. We're going to go quarterstaff. You may choose three spells to put in your spell book. Armor, find familiar, grease, no. Let's put magic missile in there. Oh, wait. Something green meant something. Armor, grease, and magic missile. Okay. You may memorize two spells. Let's memorize magic missile and armor. Appearance. Uh, let's, so we're going back with him. Red. Red and yellow. There we go. Let's give them a right thrashing. All right. That'll be him. Name. I don't know why the system at creating party. Good Lord, I think he's dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think you can generate a character and import them. Well, maybe so. Maybe we could. Yeah, there was something about importing a character. But, all right, so we just created him real fast. I didn't create a party, though. Rise from the Sword Coast. The Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. And it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters. Lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold. That of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day, imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel. He has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Okay, so journal updated. Gorion, my foster father, oh, well, casts armor. All right, let's go in the inn. It shall be as we child. Shall we continue your lessons? Greetings, child. I've been told to advise you in negotiating with merchants, innkeepers, and taverns owners the like. Is there anything I can tell you about such things? Um, tell me how to listen to rumors in the tavern. 
If you want to listen to people talk, you need to drink with them. Choose the beverage of your choice from the list. Buy and then listen. Okay, not everyone will say something worth hearing, but occasionally you might hear something tidbit that will turn to a quest you can complete. While you're in town, you won't be able to sleep in the street. Instead, find an inn with rooms available. Select a room from the option shown, then rent button when you pay. The more luxurious room, the more hit points your party will cover when resting in it. But even the sparsest accommodations are superior to the forest floor. All right, well, let's let's be done with this. Well, all right, how do I buy and sell things? On a store screen, items for sale are listed on the left. Your own inventory is on the right. To buy or sell an item, Select its name in the list. Select the items are highlighted. Okay. To purchase selected items, press the buy button. If you can't afford everything, this button will be disabled. To sell inventory, click sell. Okay. Most stores mark up prices on merchandise. If you sell something, they won't be able to buy it back for the same price. All right. Let's get out of here. End dialogue. to meet a socially acceptable person such as yourself. Yeah, well, no problem. I'll leave you be. No time to chit-chat. Wait, what? Noble woman. Oh, yes, darling. They are most standoffish. Noble one. Step up to the heat, young one. You'll need a good fire to warm the chill stares of these monks. Most inho inhospitable, aren't they? Isn't that so lovely? Oh, yes, darling. They're most standoffish. What if I just want to close this dialogue and get out of here? Uh, let's walk around. Good night, Jay. I don't know how much longer I'm going anyway. I've been going for uh, over an hour, a little bit over an hour now, but I still want to play. I want to see what's going on. So I don't know how long I'll be going, but we'll see. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. So Firebeard Elven Hair says, Ah, yes, I'm back with the hallowed halls of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Baragost was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Gorion's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you have permitted an old man jealous of youth to say so, hmm, heft an identify scroll with Tetheril in the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now. If you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. So, Firebeard Elvenhair, an old mage who makes the occasional visit here from Belagros. As I, wait, I wasn't finished reading that. How do I get back to the journal? Record? What is it this time? Journal. Okay, so here we go. Important events. Find Gorion. Gorion, my, for my foster father, has informed me that we must immediately leave Candlekeep to set out for a journey. He has given me some gold, and I must purchase supplies for the road, including weapons and armor. And I've got Firebeard's scroll. Firebeard Elvenhair, an old mage who lives, who makes the occasional visit here from Baragost, has left an identified scroll with Tetheril in the inner grounds. I swear, without me to run this endless errands, this keep would crumble into the dust from which it sprang. Okay, so I've got to buy weapons and armor, and i got to find this scroll. Well, hello there, young one. Come and visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold pieces book entrance fee as per Candlekeep's custom, don't you know? 
That's outrageous. What kind of fool do you take me for? Stuff you're in and stuff your company. You always were the big kidder, Winthrop. That gets funnier and eerie every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Ha! Just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks be walking about with poles in their, in their nethers. If you know what we're talking, we were always welcome here in my sight. Garion, did by did well by you, he did. So is there anything I can help you with? Some drinks, room to sleep, anything to buy? Yeah, sure. What do you get? What have you got? Okay, so these are the inn. I can sleep in peasant, merchant, noble, or royal. Uh, do you have a quarter staff? Do I need a quarter staff? Oh, I've got a quarter staff. Okay. Can I wear armor? What is it this time? You have I am just as clean as an elven artist. Probably not much armor. Blood wine, fire wine. Hey, let's have some bitter black ale. No, let's have Arabellum dry wine. I think some dry wine would be just good. Lots of trouble down in Nashkarel. Monsters of some such are said to be killing the workers in Nashkarel mines. Bad news for smiths or anyone that needs help making a living. The rumors of something disrupting operations in the Nashkarel mines contributing to the iron shortage. Yes. So do I have... I do have a weapon... So I'm armor class six, dexterity negative two, hit class, hit points per level plus four, bonus hit points plus two, base thaco 20, quarter staff D6. I need to find my mentor. What is it this time? You have but two arms. You have but two arms. Retro Nerd Girl says, late to the stream tonight. This looks interesting. This is this is some seriously classic gaming. I'm trying to start with classic gaming. I, I want to start with some NES stuff, but I don't have my controller in. But, you know, like we started with Diablo 3, but I really want to be able to start with Diablo 1 and then, you know, go from there. Um, but this is just, this, as far as I know, is the original Baldur's Gate. So this is advanced Dungeons and Dragons in video game form. Stray says, weapons break a lot in this game unless magical. All right, well, I better find a magic weapon. <laughs> Hello, child. Shall we continue? I've been instructed to tell you about basic mechanics of movement and time. If there's anything of this sort you would like to know, pausing the game, I got that. Tell me about the area mount. Tell me about camera zoom. Using your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Well, now, hold on. I've got another mouse here that actually has a scroll wheel on it. Um, oh, okay. So, if I'm using a mouse with a scroll wheel, I can indeed zoom in. So, all right. Thanks, dude. Combat flows in a series of rounds. Each creature on the battlefield exists in its own initiative and round. This means that as you move and attack, your enemies are moving and attacking at the same time. Weapons with lower speed factors and spells with lower casting times can generally improve your chances of survival. This does make me yearn a bit for advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Though you can cast one spell at a time no matter how quickly you cast it. All right, I'm moving on. But I'll use this other mouse then that actually has a scroll wheel on it. Hello there. Have you seen my copy of the history of Hadrula anywhere? I, you know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here. Oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. So I got a quest. I need to find this book. Find Fidelia's book. Hello, child. Shall we continue? 
What is what are purple? Oh, sorry. A purple circles around a character sheet if they are un inaccessible, usually for the purposes of a cutscene or similar event. Okay. Red means hostile. Yeah. Green means a party member or a creature you have summoned. Blue is neither friendly or hostile. Okay. Let's keep going. Can I attack the cow? Oh, let's attack this cow. Can I cast magic missile on this cow? I'm doing a terrible job beating up this cow. Oh, magic missile. Now, there we go. Now, keep attacking this cow. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine about my inventory right now. Fatigue, morale, the effects have been tight. Nah, it's fine. Let's just keep going. Mike Hansford says, for classic NES, Wizardry was one of my favorite D&D style games. I, I don't know that one. I'm about to make a note of that one. Look up NES. I, I got to get some kind of emulator or something, and I've got the um, uh, controllers on the way. Look up NES Wizardry. Probably a lot of great ones to try to play. Trey says, I'd party up with you, Chaos Good Thief, at your service. Wait, are you there? Are you here? I need to find some way to, to let other people in. Did I say this was a single player game or a multiplayer game? Uh -oh. I tried to figure out how to let pe multiple people end the Diablo game, but I need multiple people to be in this game. I might not have gotten it quite right yet. Maybe that'll have to be next time. I'm still learning how to play, but uh, that would be great if we could have multiple people from the Raven Keep Discord server in here. I'd love to play with you. Uh, oh, goody, goody. I've gone and found you first. You are the ward of Garion, no doubt. Uh, yes, I am. What do you need? Oh, our encounter should be quite simple for you. Plainly put, I've, I've made my mission to end your life. Success will mean little respect among my peers. So you see, I can do little except die. Wait, what? Our encounter should be quite simple for you. Plainly put, I have made it my mission to end your life. Success will mean a little respect among my peers. So you see, you can do little except die. Well, all right. Probably, I can't cast any more spells because I cast that spell on that on that uh, cow. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's, let's hit him. Hit him again. We're all missing each other. We're first level characters. <laughs> Takes one. Oh, I, I took a damn point of damage. Oh, I got him. I got a dagger. Well, let's go ahead and put the dagger up there. I don't think I'm proficient in daggers, but whatever. An axe? I mean, you tried to kill me, so I guess I'll take your stuff. Some gold? Oh, Stray says, no, not there. If we play AD&D at the table. Yeah, that might be fun. Maybe we should try AD&D online sometime. Just for old time's sake. It shall be as you wish. 
Parda says, Garanath, you cut yourself above the brow there. What's wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me something is very wrong indeed. Says, oh, Prada, there was a man in there. He smelled like the stables, and he, he tried to kill me. It was horrible. It's nothing, Prada. One of the cats one of the cats didn't like me petting it. It's all right, really. Uh, I'll go and tell him about the person who tried to kill me. Hurry then, child. Equip yourself at the inn and go join Gorion on the steps of the library. I had a sense that something like this might happen. Equip myself at the inn? The inn was back here. Now, where is the library? What else do I need? Whoop, whoop. What else do I need at the... Uh... At the end. Hey, where's my map? Candle keep, priest quarters, temple, the storehouse, clinic, bunkhouse, candle keep in, candle keep. I wonder if the Library is in Candlekeep. So this is where I'm supposed to buy stuff? What do I need to buy? I don't need to buy. I got a dagger now. I mean, I think I'm good there. It shall be as you wish. Let's go into this person's house. It shall be as you wish. I should have joined the army. Oh, what a mead-filled night. The hull is just too much. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning, too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you, anyway? Aaron's, yeah, actually need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you get some off of Winthrop at the end, I'll reimburse you. Oh, very well. There'll be a few coins in it for you, too, so you can uh, you can stop looking at me like this. Okay, well, I can go buy some crossbow bolts. I mean, that's fine. It shall Let's do that. It shall be as you wish. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. He wanted crossbow bolts? All right, let's go see if that works. It shall be as you wish. It would be nice to be able to make RPG video games in my world. I just know absolutely nothing about it. You have but to ask. I should have joined the army. Gave me a lousy 10 gold for running his errands. I bet he is 15 for being an air runner from Baldur's Gate. Well, all right, fine. 
You have but to ask. Somebody just left some gold outside. All right, I'll take it. Our rules are very strict. I should have joined the army. Something about an iron shortage? Gate Warden says, soon uh, soon be gone, will ya? Hey, Gorian asked me to teach you a wit about the finer arts of mass combat before you leave. Can I pique your interest with it? <sighs> sure. It is one thing to maintain control of yourself in the heat of battle, but it's quite another to maintain one's authority over a group. I asked Ob, the illusionist, to run through a few simulation simulations for you down the storage cellars. Just follow me this way and I will unlock the door. Well, all right, fine. Garanath, the gate warden asked me to prepare a little going away present for you. A bit of mass combat practice is in order, I believe. Well, I'll make it real simple for you. Candorus, Mordrain, Arcus, Dieter, and Osprey are all going to join your party. They have com you have co you'll have complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join your party in the coming travels. Once they've all joined your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions of common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of this keep. These illusions will attack the party and will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions and they won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them, however, because in the real world, pain, harm, and even death will be even more real. Some of your comrades will have magic items such as potions and wands. You'll have to equip these in the quick slots of your characters who have them. Some of them also have spells. You can cast these during battle. Remember, even rogues and warriors can benefit from a good understanding of the more arcane forms of combat. Every so often, I will ask you if you had enough. If you have, then I shall teleport you back outside. If you wish to continue practicing, however, then I shall create some more illusions for you to fight. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. All right, let's attack that guy. This one, let's attack that guy. This guy, let's attack that guy. That guy, attack that guy. Easy enough, I suppose. Uh, let's bring on some more monsters. I'm supposed to hit Paul's to issue my orders. Oh, an invoker. Well, she should be casting spells. Hey, you cast burning hands on that thing. Well, I guess we got it. Uh, bring them on one more time. Let's do it. Skeletons. Hold them at bay using Osprey's turn undead ability. Okay. Who's Osprey here? Candorous Osprey. Osprey. Turn undead. All right, everybody on the skeleton. There's a lot of missing the skeleton going on, people. <laughs> Let's get with the program. 
All right, take me outside. Hey, it's me, Emma Hey, Emma I'm surprised that old stuffy Gorian lets you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle faddle snuck off too. Old Pulfaguff's Windrup was looking for me, but I've got all day to do his chores. You have time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? I'm afraid I can't chat today, little one. My foster father wishes me to prepare for a journey, but will not say where. I'm sorry, child, but I'm not to tell anyone where I'm going. I must go. You must not tarry about either. Wintrip will want the beds turned down after you are done in the stables. Uh, I'll go with number one. Little one, I'm not much younger than you, though you sure got tall fast, relatively anyway. A journey, huh? I've never get to travel. Wish I could go with you. Yep, I really wish I could. Yes, sir, really do. All right, all right, I get the message. I'll ask if you can go with me. There's no way you can come. Gorian would never allow it. You only slow us down. Stay here. Well, I'll just see if she wants to come with us. Oh, don't be silly. Gorian would never let you, let you finish the sentence, especially after what that letter of his said. Or, did I say that? No, of course I didn't. Never saw no letter. Nope. I'll just get back to work now. You'd better go. Gorian is waiting. This person? Firebeard sent you to me, hasn't he? Very well. Return the scroll to him, but then you must hurry and speak with Gorian. He is waiting for you on the steps of the central library. I assure you, child, it's a matter of great urgency. Yeah, wait. So somebody... Uh, yeah, let me get back to the inn and get the scroll. I got an identify. Party has gained an item. Identify. Journal updated. Firebeard scroll. I'm walking. I need more wine. All right, come on. I shall attend to it in a trot. Who was the guy who wanted that? No, 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 no. Not right now. No time to chit chat. Was that upstairs? I don't remember going upstairs. It shall be as you wish. Somebody's sleeping up here. Yes, my apologies. I've been knee-deep in the tomes of the keep all day. I'm sure in the fog is the results. Oh, indeed. Such a wondrous depository it is. I have returned to it on many occasion, much to my banker's dismay. I have not even scratched the surface of the collection here. Would that it were so all of my noble brethren. I, feel, I fear many come to the keep merely to proclaim that they did. I suppose it makes them appear more intelligent, though simply quizzing places the majority of them secures about the chimp level. I'm sorry, I tend to ramble. Good evening to you. Okay, well, whatever. Away with you, beggar. All 
Uh, wait, it must have been downstairs. So wait, where's the journal? No, Firebeard's scroll right here. An old mage. You have but to ask. Was that not here? Oh, I think it was above here. Let's do that. Then we're going to have to probably call it a night here. There we go. Did you go visit the cows this time? Hello, child. No, it's not what I'm worried about. What do you need? Yeah, uh, hmm. I should have joined the army. So what am I supposed to do? I thought that person was in the in the inn. Remember to save. This game does not auto save. Oh, well, that's important. There was so let's say quick save. All right, quick save. Oh, this person over here. That's who it is. Ah, I'm so glad to see that age has not hardened your heart toward the old man such as myself. I'll take all of your identify scrolls. I have a great use of these types of scrolls. Here, allow me to cast a little spell on you. I'll protect you from any evil that you might meet tonight. Okay, I've got a protect from evil spell on. Well, let's go down here and see what's going on in Candlekeep. Wish I had my spell back. Guess I could sleep at the inn or something like that. But hey, why does the first level wizard needs his needs his only spell back? <laughs> See what this person does. Oh, this is Garion. He says, this is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It's very important that you pack up your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there's no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. Um, I'm ready to go right now. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the friendly arm inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Okay, friendly arm in. If we get separated. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. Explain everything as soon as there is time. All right. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. Oh, but I don't have a spell. Uh oh. Over your boy, and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. 
You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside, and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no, is he gonna die? I'm feeling like my mentor may just be about to die. that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. All right, the Friendly Arm. Hey, Emmowen. Hey, sorry I followed you, but I never get out of candle keep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I, I saw Gorion, and I am so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to get you out of here. Um, how could you have known? Gorion did not even tell me. I like to be kind to Emmowen. She seems like somebody who we should have around. Uh, I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have. It might still be on his body. Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around here all alone. Never let a friend down. No, sir. Stick with you until I say otherwise I will. All right. Well, that's good. I need a cleric. The party has gained two gold, and Emowyn is now with me. All right. So if I say save over here, a quick save. I think we are just about to, uh, I think I should just about be done. How do I exit the game? Uh, save game. Uh, hmm. Heath's, uh, what is this? Plugged in game. Save. All right. Quick save successful. Save successful. That sounds good. All right. Now, how do I get out of here? Sound graphics return to game. Look, quit game. There we go. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, save. Save, overwrite. All right, well, let's quit game. Quit. Okay, well, uh, there we go. So what's going on here? Uh, Bo Juk Karak KT says, what an affordable graphics card to play. What's an affordable graphics card to play something like FFX or Diablo? Payday 2. I have an in I have no idea. I have no idea. The the video game side of things is not anything I know much about at all. That's why this this plugged in live stream is an experiment. I am I mainly know about the tabletop side of things, but I am excited about the video gaming because there I like, I was excited about playing that. I mean, there are things I want to play, so it seems like some stuff that'd be really fun to play. Uh, but I, I, I am no expert in the video gaming side of things at all. Uh, Stray says, Stray says that was metal. <laughs> well, we might continue with that one. 
Like I, I we were playing Diablo three, but I feel like I need to go back to Diablo one. I want to start at the beginning of all of these things and keep going from the beginning. So that's why also uh, Vaxanadu, I really want to play the original Zelda, but I need my controller to come in here. So uh, that's, that's it. So tomorrow is world building Wednesday on the morning grind. I've got to come up with the stuff. We'll probably be looking at the world anvil software tomorrow. Um, I'm going to wind down here. I've got to get my contacts out and uh, just chill for a little bit. But we'll be back, Adam, for the uh, morning grind tomorrow. And fortunately, it's actually started to warm up around here. Hopefully, it's been warming up around you as well. So we're not dealing with like, you know, negative 10 degree temperatures or something like that. Because I want to be able to get walking again and get on the afternoon adventure. But I'm not doing that when it's, uh, you know, 12 degrees outside. So hopefully tomorrow, we'll be back uh, operating at full speed. Thank you so much for joining me. That was fun. I enjoyed this. I think I'm just having fun. So I think that uh, Tuesday nights playing some type of uh, video game, that's going to be fun. I, there are games to play. It'll be fun. All right. And hopefully, and I do want to figure out how we can get more people from the uh, Raven Keep Discord server in the game. If we can do that, that would be freaking fantastic. All right, everybody. I will see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. 